Hello guys, today we will have a Laravel demo project about monthly invoices for organizations like schools or private tutors based on attendance. The project is already coded, available on GitHub, the link will be in the description and on the screen. And in this video I will show a demo and comment the code feature by feature. Part of that is generated by our Quick Admin Panel, so I will show you how to use Quick Admin Panel to create the structure and menu items, and then we will go one by one, feature by feature, where I will comment Laravel code, and possibly you will learn something from that. So first, a demo, how it works. Imagine a school, for example, or any organization with people, and there are, for example, five students, and you can fill in attendance for a month. I will use Fake Filler for that. The extension is called Fake Filler Chrome extension. And now we have our attendance in the database. And then I can run a command, PHP artisan invoices send, which will form invoices for all the students and then send email to each of them with PDF attached. Okay, it is done, took quite a lot of time because both PDF forming and email sending takes quite a lot of time. So in real world, it should probably be a queue job in the background. Let's see the result. On MailTrap, I have five new emails. Let's take a look at the latest one. There is a price calculated, $190 or euros, and attachment is the invoice. Let's open it up, and here's the invoice, 190 euros. There is a setting in the config how many euros per day is charged, so 10 euros per day from what I remember, and that invoice is sent. And then administrator can view the invoices, so if someone paid via bank account or something, administrator marks that as paid. And then there is a dashboard with charts about revenue per month. In this case, it's only one month for now. And if the invoice is unpaid for more than one month, there will be a table of unpaid invoices. So pretty typical management system of mini school or tutoring or something like that. So that was a quick demo of how it works. Now let's dive into the code. First, let's take a look at the database structure. I will form that visually and then we'll generate that with Quick Admin Panel with all the related forms. So let's go to MySQL Workbench. It's a tool to generate the visual schema. And there is a menu item database reverse engineer. We'll connect to the database that we need. Continue, click next, next, next. Like usual installation of something. Continue, close, and there we go. There are a few tables not that relevant like OAuth for API, so let me spend a minute to clean that up. Okay, looks much better. The main thing in our application is these three tables. So students, attendances, and invoice. So invoice belongs to a student and attendance also belongs to a student. Then there is a separate section for users, roles, and permissions that is automatically generated by our Quick Admin Panel. We don't use any permissions package like Spati Package, Spati Permissions, or Bouncer, or Lara Trust, or anything else. But we created a pretty similar thing ourselves. So user has multiple roles, and role has multiple permissions. Now I will show you briefly how to generate that with our Quick Admin Panel. You can consider that an advertisement for our tool. You can create that manually instead with Core UI theme and Laravel. But I will show you how we speed up our own process for new projects by generating some code. So we go to our Quick Admin Panel and go Students Invoices, for example. New project. There are some settings, but I will skip them for now. And then we create menu item by menu item. So first we need to know students. So students, crowd menu item with fields. What fields do we need? Let's get back to our table. First name, last name, email and billing address. So first name, we save another field, last name, we save. Email is a separate text field type, email and billing address, so billing address. Again, there are more settings available, but I will just save you time. So we save the CRUD, which creates one menu item called students. Next, we need attendance. So attendance says, and we need foreign key to students. So we add new field, belongs to relationship to student, and we choose the model, which is already created, students. And we choose the field what to show in the table, but we will overwrite that anyway. And it will automatically create a relationship from attendances.studentid to students.id. 
and next for attendances we need event date and that's it just event date so new field event date i'm skipping the timestamps by the way so date picker event date save and save crud and third thing we need to do is invoices so we go create crud menu item and by the way the code is being generated in the background invoices add new field again belongs to student to students then we need period from period to dates so new field date picker period from period to what else invoice number total amount and paid ad invoice number will be an integer so number integer invoice number total amount we have a separate field called money total amount and paid or not which will be a timestamp so date time picker paid at and we save and as a result we have generated code for our panel so if we click view code there are models for attendance for students for invoice with also routes and controllers so if we go controllers admin attendance controller so basically all you need for admin panel and if you click preview panel it will deploy your project to our server which you need to wait for a minute or so because composer install is pretty heavy operation if it's done without caching okay it's ready these are the credentials we continue and on temporary url we can preview our project admin admin com and password is password and there we go with core UI theme, as I said, students, attendances, and all of that. For now, empty. So this is how we use Quick Admin Panel. Now it's time to download the project and code the custom parts one by one. So in Quick Admin Panel, there is a button to download full code. There are some installation instructions. And from there, you move on coding your custom stuff in Laravel without Quick Admin Panel. And I will show the code of four features, attendance, monthly invoices, mark as paid invoice, and the dashboard. So let's start with attendance. We have attendance controller, and in the beginning it was generated by a quick admin panel, but almost nothing remained here, except for gate denies attendance access check for the access for the permissions, everything else is now custom. And we have two methods, index and store the data. So index is for the table and store happens after the data is submit and then redirects back to index. So in the table, we see a new thing called attendance service. It is used because quite a lot of operations are with calculations about attendance and it was really logical to get it out of the controller to some class which we call the service. So in the constructor of the controller there is a parameter attendance service, it is a dependency injection and inside of that attendance service there are a lot of methods for calculation. So in attendance controller we call that service a few times, so check the month, get the parameters for year and for month, which is these ones, then we pass them into the service, so get days in month, get pagination links, and we form the table of index blade with for each of pagination links above the table, and then for loop for days and months for all the columns, and forming the checkboxes of student IDs with data. And then in the store of attendance controller, there is some manipulation with the request all array and we store those attendances. You can check out how that works. The code is all on GitHub. And this is a pretty typical example how to use services in Laravel. So services like a black box class, you get the parameters inside, do some calculation and you get the data outside. So service doesn't know anything about route parameters, about session, about user IDs, about anything. It's just working with parameters and returning some data. Next thing to discuss is invoice send artisan command and this is the code. It was generated by artisan make command and the main method is called handle. And in handle we query last month, query students with attendances for that month using eloquent with count. Then we get the invoice number which is a private method of the same class. And then we generate the invoice first in the database so saving the invoice data but then using our own invoice PDF class with our own package called Laravel invoices. 
Almost a year ago, we released a package, not sure if you know that, Laravel invoices to form a PDF file from a lot of parameters. So in README, you can find this example. So you specify the buyer like a class or an object, then you can specify discounts, taxes, shipping items, so like this. A lot of items with different prices, a lot of parameters like date format, like currency, like file name, where to store. You may specify a logo and stuff like that. So you can check that out, Laravel invoices. A lot of examples are in readme file directly, and we use that package inside of this demo project. So we make that invoice PDF, we save that as a file, and then we send notification. This is Laravel function, Laravel core sending the notification class of monthly member notification and one of the parameters is the invoice. Notification is Laravel class where we pass some parameters as you can see and then in the method to mail we form the actual email. Monthly email is a blade file, blade template, subject is dynamic and then we attach invoice full path as a PDF file. So this is how we send the invoices. Third thing to show is mark as paid and mark as unpaid buttons in the invoices list. Invoices list is inside of invoice controller and index blade, so like this. This one is directly from Quick Admin Panel, nothing is changed here. Just an index blade, one more button. If the user has a permission of invoice toggle paid, which is admin, there is a form to route toggle paid with invoice ID as a parameter. And it's not a separate route for make paid and make unpaid, it's toggle. So whenever you click, it changes the value. So paid add becomes null or becomes with value of timestamp. And if we open routes web PHP, we should see route put toggle paid. And in invoices controller toggle paid, probably at the bottom somewhere, we have this, we just changed paid add, save that into the same invoice and redirect back. And final thing, dashboard controller, which is in home controller, it's just calculating two things, revenue per month, so revenue and month is one array, set of arrays, and then unpaid invoices is also calculated as a collection, and we pass that to home blade, and home blade just shows the chart with revenue chart, and shows the table of unpaid invoices. And that chart is rendered in the script at the bottom of home blade. So set of months is the labels of that chart and set of revenue is the data for that chart. You can look up the syntax in chart.js library online. So that's pretty much it. As I mentioned, you can check out the code on GitHub for free. And you can also try our quick admin panel generator to generate the core structure of such projects to save you a lot of time so you would focus only on your custom logic. We're planning as usual to create more demo projects like this one, both with Quick Admin Panel and without it, so follow the channel, subscribe to it, and see you guys in other videos.